What's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. So blood flow restriction, what exactly is this? How can we utilize this? And I've heard of it. So what is blood flow restriction? It's a training mechanism utilizing arm cuffs, leg cuffs to essentially restrict the flow by wrapping them around your arms. You can add in sort of strap resistance or you can use what's, what I have here with this ache de way setup where you can actually use a pump with a sort of pressure gauge on it and you can set these up to basically restrict the blood flow of your limbs. Now, why would you wanna do this? What you're doing is you're restricting the flow back from the limbs to the body. They were using blood flow restriction to help people rehab, recover, and build back muscle mass. Really, in this video, I wanna explain what it is, why it works, and then I wanna go through a specific product that I have, which I think is pretty quality, and just show you a bit of a demonstration of how to use it. So with these bands, applying a certain fixed pressure, you can essentially achieve what they call oculation, where you limit the venous flow, the vein flow, meaning the flow of blood flow back from your arms, from your muscles, to your heart, to your body. And what happens, specifically this sort of originated out of the katsu band idea and movement in Japan with Dr. Sato and katsu bands. But essentially what they were doing is they were finding that people who were stroke victims, older, elderly people, they were dealing with issues of mortality because of loss of muscle mass or they'd get injured if they were athletes or other people recovering from some sort of major life injury and they were using blood flow restriction to help people rehab, recover and build back muscle mass. Sarcopenia is one of the highest risk factors for your mortality as you age. So you are likely to die as you lose muscle but if you can maintain muscle you can extend your probability of having a more vital, vibrant life, feeling better, being healthier as you age. And blood flow restriction does this in a unique, powerful way. By using these bands, what you're doing is you're restricting the flow of blood flow back from the limbs to the body, and it's signaling to the body that you actually are working your muscles much harder. You're putting much more resistance on your muscles. So say that you are actually um, lifting weights and normally you're bench pressing or let's say you're just doing bicep curls, you know, 80% of where you go in terms of your max weight where you get four or five reps is 50 pounds. Now that, those would be pretty big, strong biceps, but just as an example here, well, with blood flow restriction, if you were to apply the restriction to your biceps, to your arms up in the upper area here and do bicep curls, what you would find is that you could only probably lift 20 or 30% of that weight. So you might only lift 10 or 15 or 20 pounds but you're gonna find that you get a tremendous amount of burn. And that stimulation of more lactic acid, which is happening because the body is not experiencing blood flow black to the muscle, is telling the body, hey, this muscle is working overtime. I need to stimulate growth factors. I need to stimulate lactic acid. I need to stimulate all the things to build this muscle up. And what's happening is you're doing that at the same time, normally what you would be doing is if you were typical resistance training, you'd have to do a lot of heavy weight and you'd have to do a lot of volume of that. But with blood flow restriction, you're tricking the body by saying, hey, we're not gonna allow blood to flow back for a, a finite period of time. In this case, usually it's anywhere from five to 10 to 15 minutes of training. And then you allow the blood to flow back. And then what we're gonna do is the body's gonna think, holy cow, even at that 10 pounds, when I normally have done 50 pounds, my arm is totally wrecked. And what's happening too is you're reducing the amount of resistance that you actually have to move on your joints. You're stressing the muscle fiber less. The muscle fiber physically is not getting torn and, and damaged the way it would be if it was lifting a much heavier weight. And this allows a lot of people who are dealing with physical therapy after a major injury or older people who are more prone to be injured to get the same type of benefits of resistance training at heavier weight without using the heavier weight. And that's what's so powerful about this. All right, so I'm gonna demo and show you exactly what this product looks like. It's called Ached Away. And again, they're not an official sponsor of this video, but they have sent me a couple of their products. So I wanted to give them a shout out because the products they've sent me have been good. I did a cupping review. They have a cupping product and I've, I've worked with them on this blood flow restriction product. And I found that the quality is actually quite, quite good. There's so many options out there. Which product do you get? I recommend you get something where you have a pump so you can actually create some resistance. 
The other thing you wanna do is you wanna have a little bit of movement in the bands. There has to be some dexterity here because as you pump your muscles, you're gonna create some movement there and you don't want the resistance to be, you want it to be somewhat dynamic, meaning you want there to be some blood flow that happens as you move the muscles and you want the band to have some give while you're working through them. I think this product is really well designed to kind of meet that criteria. With these bands, you're gonna get a, a kit and most blood flow restrictions, you'll probably get some sort of kit like this. Again, I recommend using something that is air-based. That's how Katsu generally does it. It helps you modulate the pressure after you've applied the bands. It's easier than having a band where you're kind of pulling and then you don't quite know what sort of um, level of, of restriction you're applying. Whereas with this, no matter how tight or loose I wrap the band, once I get it on and it's in a position, I can then go through and using the pump, I can essentially get the same level of resistance each time and I can work myself up. The other thing they recommend with blood flow restriction in the reading that I found was that you start gently for the first few sessions and work your way up. You want this to be a practice or a routine where you start to really feel a burn. But when you first start out, because it affects your blood pressure, your blood pressure is gonna drop because again, your, your blood flow and the volume of your blood is gonna be um, inhibited from coming back. It's gonna be restricted on the venous flow coming back to you. As you get your pump, a lot of that blood is gonna stay in your limbs. And so you're gonna have a drop in blood pressure and you're gonna feel that pump and that burn. And so you wanna be mindful of that if you have any sort of hypertension or issues with blood pressure to just take it slow, take it carefully and adjust. Once you get used to it though, you'll be adjusted and you'll be able to do it from a different level. So the band kind of wraps out like this. It's gonna go around. And so I'm gonna put this on my bicep at the highest point on my arm. And I'm gonna connect this and, and get it around as, 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 as comfortably connected as possible. I shouldn't really have any resistance at this point. Yes, it's snug, but again, like I don't really get much restriction Now, here. once I have the bands on my arms, I'm going to essentially connect this right to here. And right now I have this pump set where I can turn it and release all the air. So for this one, it's actually pretty loose when it's, it's completely drained. So that one's at 90. This one's at 90 as well. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go ahead and do a set of push-ups. I can already see my arms are getting really vascular. You can see the blood flow is building in my arms. Now these are at 90 and they recommend working your way up, but when you first start, you want to keep them lower. But you can see like the vascularity is insane. Like they're, the blood flow is down here. My arms are getting a workout just having restriction literally just moving them around. And as I mentioned before, if you're not super athletic, you can use these even just when you're working. You could put them at like 80, 70, use them for like 15, 20 minutes as sort of like an exercise break to kind of give your body and your arms some workout. So let's come in here and we're gonna do a set. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. 10. So, I definitely feel more um, lightheaded after those workouts. And I find that this, this stuff, as far as the workout routine goes, I'm sure people will post in the comments here. I'm gonna get the X3 bar here and grab that out of my cabinet where I have, and I'm gonna do some, some actual curls with variable resistance. So you can see what variable resistance will actually do in combination with blood flow restriction. Now, if you're more athletic and you wanna hack blood flow, restriction into your regimen, you can also do it on days when you're lifting or not lifting. You can add blood flow restriction to your routine and you're gonna get the benefits. There's tremendous kind of metabolic processes going on here. So for those of you who are more sciencey nerds, I'm gonna talk about that for a moment, but don't worry, I'm not gonna spend the whole video talking about that because I think a lot of us get lost in that. The main thing to think about here is one, blood flow restriction is restricting the venous flow of blood, the, the blood flowing back to your body and it's triggering and signaling to your body 
that, hey, this person is lifting a lot of weight, this person is doing a lot of activity, he needs to actually build or she needs to build muscle in this region even though you're not lifting nearly as heavy a weight. And that is the key. You can lift much less weight, put yourself at less injury risk, and you can get the same amount of benefits that you would get on traditional resistance training without putting yourself at risk. So in addition to this actual benefit of the, the, the benefits you're getting from the actual resistance training and muscle building, your body's actually producing more nitrous oxide, you're producing some growth factors, you're producing growth hormone, you are doing things to your nervous system and your body that are stimulating a lot of growth and, and recovery and building and, and kind of optimal things that give us more strength and, and vitality as you age. So some people even just wear blood flow restriction cuffs and they will be working. They'll literally be wearing them for periods of 15 to 20 minutes and cycle on and off. And even just standing or going for a walk, especially if you're an elderly person who maybe doesn't like resistance training, but you just want to get the benefits of blood flow restriction, well, you can do that too. So there's a lot of things going on here at the biochemical level. You're creating a hypoxic effect. You're reducing the oxygen at the muscle level. That sounds like it would be a bad thing, but it's actually signaling to the actual brain and the body that, hey, this muscle is being worked way harder than it normally gets utilized. I need to grow it. I need to strengthen it. And it's signaling all the things that allow you to kind of feel vital and vibrant and have strength by doing that. Now they've done studies on blood flow restriction. What they found is that actually participants who are doing the controlled group, meaning that they're wearing the bands versus participants who are not wearing the bands, actually see ser like significant changes in benefits when they're using the bands. So for a lot of people, it is a bit of a process to learn how to use it, but once you get them and you can find them, this, these are from Ached Away by the way, and I like their products. They make some really quality products. You can get bands from anywhere. I'm not saying you have to buy theirs, but I would recommend you check out a quality one that has a, a pressure gauge here where you can actually get a feel for the gauge that you want for pressure. Because with this one, for example, you can apply a fixed pressure that you want and it's gonna allow you to get to that range that you're used to. And this is going to kind of give you a sense for what you're doing. The pressure sensor on your system at about 107 mm per hg. Now, people can train and learn to, to basically work within a range of anywhere from 80, 80 to 400. When you first start out, which I'm first kind of starting out now, um, you typically wanna work at a lower range. People even wear these when they're swimming. So if you want, you can you can wear something like this and go and do some some freestyle swimming and you're gonna feel that burn. If you are someone who struggles with heavy resistance training, you have maybe joint injuries, you don't want that resistance, I'm actually gonna demo this using variable resistance, which if you haven't learned about that, check out my video on the X3 bar, you'll learn more about variable resistance, but combining blood flow restriction with variable resistance could be a very powerful way to actually build lots of muscle, get the benefits you're looking for without actually putting yourself at risk on a heavier weight training regimen. I have an X3 bar here. This is basically a band system that you can use at home. If you haven't heard of this system, check it out. I got a video, we'll link it here in the description. On this, we'll put like a little tile up here for you so you can actually check it out. But the main thing here is, again, I've got these bands at I wanna say I had them at 90, so we're gonna keep them there. They've been on the whole time since I did the set of push-ups, and now I'm gonna just curl up. And you can see just how vascular my arms are getting, just from that pump. And my biceps. Eight, nine, 10, 11. And they're getting taxed. Normally when you work out with the X3 bar, you're gonna to want to go all the way to failure, but I'm actually doing a workout later today and, and I really just wanted to demo for you this product and these bands and, and really explain to you the idea around blood flow restriction. The idea here, this is not just for people who are into fitness or biohacking. This is really something that's powerful for a lot of people dealing with recovering because 
the amount of resistance on that white band, the amount of weight that you're putting on a push up, whatever it is, you can lower that resistance. You're keeping your elbows, your shoulders, your body, you're keeping it at a much less risk because you're not putting as much weight. And actually the physical aspect of muscle growth, you're not ripping your fibers. So your actual recovery phase is going to be quicker. You're gonna recover faster because you're not physically damaging the muscles the way you normally would. Instead, you're tricking the brain and the nervous system and the body into bio biologically producing the hormones and growth factors at the cellular level in the muscle because it thinks that the muscle is getting overworked and taxed and optimally utilized. And so that's really all coming together and benefiting you. To release this, I just connect the, the pump here, the connection point back in. And all I have to do at this point is just release and blood flow comes back into my arm and is no longer on the band. Now you can do this for your legs and arms. People ask about other parts of your body. What I've researched is that it actually benefits a lot of your other parts of your body internally, even though you aren't able to really cuff your chest and your abs and all those areas. So, you know, oh man, I can feel that. So again, it's really just about taking advantage of these areas and the science. If you look up the founder of Katsu Bands, Dr. Sato, at 73, this guy is absolutely jacked. And I'm not saying that you should do blood flow restriction to get jacked. All I'm saying is if you aren't using blood flow restriction and you're someone who struggles with heavier resistance training but wants that and wants the benefits of that and and frankly, maybe is losing muscle mass, especially as you age, getting into your 50s and 60s and 70s, this can be a great way to do that. And that's gonna help a lot with your metabolic function, your immunity, your overall health. There's just a, there's so much overwhelming amount of information out there supporting the idea that muscle mass is really critical to your vitality as you age. That's really important you kind of maintain or, or learn for ways to actually hack yourself. And I think blood flow restriction is an awesome tool. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a comment. Have you tried blood flow restriction? Do you have a favorite band? Have you tried the Katsu system? I, I was gonna recommend the Katsu system, but then I realized that their pricing is is quite a bit higher. These bands, at the time of recording this video, go for around 199, 200 bucks. There's other bands you can find for a little bit less. I think most of them that have sort of an air compression type mechanism are gonna be around this price for quality. But if you wanted to um, invest in this, I'd love to hear more about it in the comments below. So comment below, like this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in videos about biohacking, about diet optimization, that's what this whole channel is all about. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.